Hey guys, what's going on? Ben here from Northern Tech, and today we're going to be reviewing an application called Unclutter. Now, the link for this application will be down below. You can also find it in the App Store. The pricing details will be in the description as well. So let's get right into the application. So this app sits in your menu bar, and there's a few ways to access it. As of now, I have it so I move my mouse to the top of the menu bar, and I put two fingers on the trackpad and scroll down. And as you can see, it will now bring down a nice little window where I can have a quick note tool, my clipboard. Now a clipboard is anything you copy. So if I were to write some text and copy it, it would be in my clipboard. I also have files here. I can quickly drag files if my desktop is cluttered and it will store them in a specific location in your Mac. So this app works really great if you just want a quick way to access some of the things you most often use. Or let's say you're on a website and you see a product that you might want to download or buy in the future. You can just quickly slide this open and write it down in your notes. But the big thing for this application is probably the files. So I'm going to show you guys a quick example. So now that you guys see I have a cluttered desktop with some folders here, I'm just going to quickly select them so I can move them to another location for the time being. So I'm just going to select them, click and drag them to the top of the menu bar. You'll then notice that this automatically pops down and I can put these right into the files. As you can see now, it's been moved right into here and if I scroll out of here, you'll notice that my desktop is now clutter free. Now I can always drag these back right onto my desktop if I want to and they'll be back in their original location. So guys, we can also access some settings if we slide this down again. We put our cursor right over this ribbon and we can click on the settings panel. We can then drop down into preferences and as you can see here, we have some preferences. So we can launch this app at startup. We also have our action to how we're going to access the application. If we go over to files, we'll be able to select where we want to store the files when we move them from our desktop into the application. If we head over to panels, we can also add which things we want in the application. So we have clipboard, files, and notes. You can uncheck one of these. And if we slide this down, you'll notice that only two of them are now there. Well guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one.